Hi guys, it's Laura. How are you? I hope you're doing swell. I had a lovely week last week. I was really kindly invited by Beringer and the lovely Roxanne into the studio to do a interview and have a chit chat about music and also do three acoustic live songs. And I chose Chasing Dreams, When the Sun Met the Moon and my brand new single that I brought out recently with DJ Cash. Uh, rev it up. We'd never performed it before and I did it acoustically and it was awesome if I don't say so myself. Anyway, a lot of fun and they've really 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 sweetly said that I can upload the uh, interview to my YouTube page. So continue watching and you'll get to see the whole thing and let me know what you think because uh, I had a lot of fun. Just as I was leaving, my lady rushes up and she goes, Laura, 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 we want to give you this. <gasps> Presents! Ah! Oh, I love presents! What is it? And from what I can suss, can you see this? Ugh. It's one of those like vocal harmony devices. I haven't actually opened it yet, so I'm gonna open it this week and, and take a look. And I'm excited. This is a new piece of equipment for me to try. And they want me to showcase it and uh, show you guys how to use it. So I'm gonna do that on my first episode of my brand new YouTube live channel. Oh, more of that to come, but uh, in the meantime, stay tuned, watch the interview, and uh, let me know what you think. Mwah. Bye. What's up, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Inside Music Live. I'm Roxanne Avalon, and as always, we are coming to you live and direct from Music Studios at Los Angeles. So thank you so much to everyone on Facebook who is tuning in. We love you guys. And I'm here with my very special guest today, Miss Laura Sagers. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are excited you? Excited to be here? Always. I'm excited to have you here. We got a lot of things going on. We got we, we got the guitar, we got the deep mind synth, we got the guitar, we got the mic. There's it's going to be an exciting day. Yeah, special. A special day. Special. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about you. I mean, you, you have your new album that's coming out soon, Chasing Dreams. Yeah. Yeah, it's been on my desktop for about three years. Three so, years? Yeah. Yeah. I've wow. I've been uh, postponing it every, every time. Why do you keep postponing it? Uh, I just do. I, I have these, like, ideas, and then I'll go ahead with it, and then but that will then postpone the actual release of the album, so then I'll have it like, oh, I want to do another music video, and I do another music video. And then I don't arrange the show for the the album but it's now definitely this year it's for sure coming yeah, when people have been demanding it like is it actually coming is there actually an album like, you've left us hanging long enough i know <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> so that'll be out soon and uh you i was looking through your pictures and you have some really adorable pictures with like your keytar thank you've been you been playing the keytar for a long time right yeah i never used to i was uh classically trained on piano and then i left england thinking oh yeah that's that's what i need to do to make a buttload of money. I come over to the United States and no one cares about the classical piano. And, then, <laughs> and this thing was handed to me and I was like, this piece of plastic, oh God, I'm not playing that. And I had such a snob view on it. And then I picked it up and I was like, oh, I love it. And now I have three. And then, uh, yeah, so. And you were named it. like top 25 guitar players in the whole universe. Well, yeah, at one point. Again, I'm not, you know, that's called hustling. So yeah. it was, uh, but it happened. I was up on their billboard with, you know, Kesha's guitar player and Lady Gaga's guitar player. And then right at the bottom, that was Laura Sagas. Yay! Called the guitar, I was like, I'll take it. Very cool. So you're rocking the guitar, you're playing music, and you, you teach music also, right? Yeah, I love it. How, what do yeah. you teach? Piano or? Uh, initially teach piano. I've got some kids that are on guitar, and then it's mainly piano and voice, and then most of them now sing and play at the same time. So they're like little mini me's, and I could not be prouder. Aww. No, they're doing really well, so that gives me tons of joy. That's super satisfying. But that also is another reason why the album's been postponed, because I Kids love... are taking up your time. Well, I allow them to, because it's such an enjoyment. So you Aww. have to like choose what you want to do, and you know you don't know where the future's going to take you. And at the moment, teaching, I absolutely adore it. But... I am missing a little bit of the live performing. So when you said, hey, do you want to come on the show? I was like, oh, yes. Yay. Yes, <laughs> Have you ever like taught someone who you thought like had no musical ability at all and they ended up being good? I've taught people who they think they have no musical ability, especially when they think, say they can't sing and I can hear them and go, no, I can hear that. You just yeah. need a little bit of training. So. Hmm. All right. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be hitting you up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so you're going to do a performance for us today. 
Uh huh. And uh, the first song is something to do with. Well, where were you this weekend? Uh, I somewhere just sketchy. got back, so I was like, <laughs> it was a sketchy. I was a, uh, I was in Tijuana. That's uh, not sketchy at all. No, no, that's not Tijuana. Sketchy. Well, actually, we were in there. Rosarito, but we started off in Tijuana, but it was amazing, and we went on motorbikes. So I've been getting into motorbikes the past, I don't know, like past eight months, nine months now. I've been getting into them. I've always liked them, but my family have always told me I'm never allowed one because I'm not a particularly good driver. Nothing to do with being a woman, but by the way, before anyone says any of that stuff. <laughs> it, it might be something to do with that, but I have. Um, not the best reputation with driving, uh -oh. but I haven't had any crashes for at least five years now, so that's good. <laughs> well, how many did you have before uh, let's five not talk years about ago? It, but um, wow. I'm now better, so <laughs> I didn't write any. Well, I did, but anyway, so I now uh, I met someone who has a motorbike and fell in love with the whole concept of it. And we went out for uh, went out to he took me to a bar, and it was the first time we ever really hung out. Got in the back of the motorbike, I was like, oh, oh no, I like this. No, this is really this is quite delightful, and we went all the way to, I think it was Compton or Downey or somewhere like, you know, like that, and I was like, oh, okay, somewhere new, and I'm on the back of a motorbike, God, I am so badass right now, and it was like such a <laughs> magical night, it just kind of like made me super happy and excited, and the whole night was wonderful, and I came back, he dropped me off, and I was like, all right, I'm going to write about a motorbike song, and uh, DJ Cash had already sent me a, uh, his like the backing track of what he was working on. He's like, hey, can you put a song to this? And I hadn't really given it much thought. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to write about. But the minute I got off the bike, I got into my apartment, sat down, put the headphones on, and wrote the song within five minutes and recorded it and sent it to him. And he's like, yeah, that'll do. That's Wow, fine. that's cool. And it's actually, yeah. um, it's really funny because the, the track, it's called Rev It Up, right? Yeah. And it's uh, it's like an EDM track, an electronic it dance is. music track. It's the first time I've ever done a, tra a track like that either. So, as, so all, all my fans, when I put it out, they're like, this is different. <laughs> yeah, but it's really cool. It's new. And I really enjoyed it. It was a great experience. The whole track's about motorbikes. About motorbikes. Yeah. And you're going to be doing it today, but acoustic, right? Yeah, for the first time ever. So it's going to sound totally different than what it sounds like the actual recording. Yes. But everyone should definitely go and look it up. And it's you know available on iTunes and all those wonderful places. Yeah, check probably. it out. Beatport, yep. iTunes, DJ Cash, yep. and Laura Sagers. Rev it up. Mm -hmm. All right, so before we get into the performance, which I'm very excited to hear, all right, we have a giveaway for you guys just to show you how much we love you and appreciate you guys tuning in every week to Inside Music Live. Um, so I do want to give a shout out to last week's winner, Derek Ortega. You are our winner from last week, so congratulations. Yay! We're going to reach out to you. Yay! We're going to be sending you a message to get all your info and ship you your awesome prize package. So congrats to you. But if you're not Derek Ortega, don't worry, because you have another chance to win right now. All right, so today's prize package is so awesome. You're going to get this wonderful CD from Miss Laura, and it's uh, Music Mondays, CD1. It's got a lot of awesome tracks. You can just, like, do this, too. I don't know. People, yes, you can. You can, right? Absolutely, like, yeah. Like, a lot of this. I would like that a lot. And like this. Send videos to my Facebook, by the way. That would be great. Yeah, so when you win, <laughs> it'd be really cool if you take a picture of you dancing just like that, or a video, and then we'll repost it, and then we'll all be famous. <gasps> All right, so you get the CD, and then also, what? boom, look at this, Podcast Studios. So this is a big, beautiful box, and it's a complete podcast studio bundle with USB audio interface. It has everything you need in here. Behringer's hooking you up. It's, uh, you got the mic, you got the mixer, you got the interface. You can, like, you can be just like her, happy and podcasting, <laughs> and you can be doing music production and home recording. Boom. This is actually amazing. It's really, really cool. So this is basically when you can do like YouTube Live and stuff and Facebook Live. and you Facebook can do Live. That's awesome. Yeah, so like obviously Facebook Live is so popular. We're on it right now. And uh, yeah, you can like be professional and do podcasting. It's got a quick start guide for you. It's got the microphone tripod. It's got the stereo headphone with the adapter. Um, it's got, it's, it has literally every single thing you need to just become an internet sensation. That'd be good for voiceovers too. Voiceovers. Mm -hmm. Audio recordings, mm -hmm. podcastings, all of the above, live videos. What can't you do with it? Look at it, people. Bam. Don't you want it? All right. So Behringer's hooking you up with that podcast studio, and then you're also going to get Laura's CD. So if you're wondering how you can win this super awesome package, well, it's so easy. Let me tell you how. So we're going to be showing three keywords at the bottom of your screen during Miss Laura's performance. And so all you need to do is either write them down or remember them. I need to write them down because I'm very forgetful. And then at the end of the broadcast, leave us a comment with all three keywords along with where you are tuning in from and you're automatically entered to win. It's that easy. So we always announce the winner on the next week's episode, so you'll have to wait a week to find out if you won. But if you comment with all three keywords and where you're watching from, you're automatically entered. So, 
I'm gonna give you the first keyword for free, like a little freebie right here. Shoop, boop, 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 boop. There you go. That's the first keyword. It's a free one. You're welcome. Now keep your eyes out because we're gonna show the other two at any random time. <gasps> Be careful. All right. Are you ready? I am, but I'd like to introduce my guitarist. Yes, bring him out. The great and wonderful Will Wu. Yay! Hello, hello. All right. He is fabulous, by the way. I will just like to mention him. He has fabulous play, hair, first play, of all. No, right? Actually, Actually a wig. That's what, <laughs> it's like a Lego piece. We, we played a residency last summer at the Four Seasons in Beverly Hills, and the first comment I got about him was like, that's fantastic hair. I was like, did you hear him play? Because that's also really good. Yeah. So, <laughs> All right, so you're going to be doing this one on the guitar. We also have the Deep Mind 12, which you're going to use for one later. Yeah. We'll right. get into yep. that. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm excited to see how this one goes. All right. For anyone who uh, wants to know the patch I'm playing, it's 115 and down an octave. For all those people that are always asking, what am I playing? <laughs> My favorite part. Okay, so this is Rev It Up, but acoustic. All right. And I'm going to swing this. Swing it out. Don't hit yourself in the face. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> right and dirty. I like it. Well, right it's so interesting to hear that song acoustic because, I mean, if you guys check out the song, it's available on Beatport and different. iTunes, DJ Cash and Laura Saggers. It's like a serious, like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like, like you'd hear it in like a nightclub and just be like, yeah. So it's like really interesting to hear it like this. I like it, though. Yeah. When you say, come on, and play two, three acoustics, it's like, huh, I wonder if I could change rivet it up, so. And you did it. Yeah. Well. That's very cool. Thank you very much. Oh, no, thank that was, you. That was a, very much a team effort. So. <laughs> All right, what do you have next for us? Uh, we have Sun When the Sun Met the Moon. So that's a song that's going to be coming out on my album. And I wrote this. It's supposed to be a story about how the sun <laughs> met the moon. <laughs> Ooh, this title. Uh, but it's supposed to be, because I work with kids, it's supposed to be um, a way that parents can teach kids about death or divorce, it sounds very morbid, but it's like an upbeat, like, you know what, just because things don't happen the way you think they're going to happen, no matter where you are in the world, the person that loves you will always love you, whether they're up there, whether they're somewhere else far away, this is supposed to be like a story that par helped parents tell their kids, we still love you. Aww. So. Aww. I know. Okay. So I want to wipe a tear. Oh. Okay. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> The sun first met the moon She said, how do we do? And the sun looked up to see A vision of beauty
that song. No, thank you very much. You I, like made me nervous. It was gonna be all like depressing and stuff. I know. I really didn't actually... sell it well. I started playing. I was like, I should work on the intro for that song. <laughs> Death and it. divorce. Sorry, kids. <laughs> all right, so we're switching out the guitar. Yeah. Do you for the Deep Mind 12. You want to turn me off on the plug so it doesn't go boom, boom, boom. All right. <laughs> I'm thinking I can help you. Well, that would be nice. I'm going to hold this guy. Put that over here. This is All exciting. Right. So I've never played this before. So this is actually Tell Laura's me. like first day on the Deep Mind 12, which is a brand new synthesizer from uh, Behringer. It's a 12 voice analog synth. People actually really, really love it. There's been a lot of talk about it. So when Laura came in, you were like, oh. I want to try it. Look at it, look at it, look. Actually, not that heavy either. That's you good. could turn it into a keytar or slap uh, a handle no, on it. Maybe not. <laughs> that light. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. Make sure you maybe guys are keeping your eyes out for the keywords, and if you saw them or saw some of them, then make sure you guys are writing them down so you can win our awesome giveaway today. They're very British keywords. They're British keywords. Yeah. That's a hint. Because you're British. All right, here, let me. All right, what's this third song? This third song is the uh, main track on the album, Chasing Dreams. Okay. Uh, and this is about, basically when I when I moved over, I had all these like big massive dreams and everyone in England, I love England, but they're so like skeptical bastards. They're just like, no, nope, their <laughs> dreams don't come true. And they're such like miserable, whatever. I was like, no, I'm gonna go to LA and I'm gonna do that thing that everyone does. And I actually ended up by doing that. So ha <laughs> ha, England, but um, anyway, I'm sort of not bitter. In your face. I know. <laughs> love you guys. But, um. This song was basically me writing about the fact that I want to stay young and I don't necessarily want to go down that typical direction that everyone goes, some people go and they're like, oh, well, you've got to a certain age where you need to be a uh, tick, tick, time's ticking and you need to be getting yourself a man and getting married and all that stuff. I go, yeah, 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 I ate my own time. <laughs> but, you know, there's that rush life. I've got like, so everyone seems to get their life over and done by, by the age of like 35. I was like, what's happened to the rest of it? So, it's just, just like to stage it out a bit and it's nothing. <laughs> it's all downhill from there. So, uh, so this is kind of just like reminding everyone to stay fun and, you know, to live your inner child because I do that all the time. I like it. So, this is called Chasing Dreams. Mm. Wait, I want to check out the sound. Can we have the. the Oh. oh, it's like an 80s arcade game. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Okay. All right. <laughs> the Deep Mind 12, people. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Too much fun And you can say I'm wrong And go ahead and sing your lonely song I'm here and now And I'm having too much fun Cause I'm chasing shadows Chasing dreams They say crazy And I don't know what that means Everybody puts on me to find the 
shadows chasing dreams they say crazy and i don't know what that means I like that song. I feel like I can relate to that song. Oh, good. I'm having too much fun. Yeah. All right, so let me ask you, what, what did you think about the D-12 being this actually, like, the first time you ever actually used it? No, I had a nice touch to it. It's like a, is this semi, semi-weighted or anyone? anyone semi-weighted. Know? Semi-weighted. It's nice. Wait, he's turned it off. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, look like a two. I'm going to show you a video now because we actually, um, the, the DMI 12 has an app for iPads which you can kind of go in deeper and even control other like parameters. And then they also have this brand new thing, which is augmented reality. So it's, you know, Tell like me more. You heard, hmm, you've heard of virtual reality, right? Yes. You guys, I'm sure have heard of virtual reality. So this is augmented reality. So you put on these glasses called the hollow lens and you like see all these crazy like laser things and you can control the synth but like just in the air, like not actually touching it. It's for reals. What? All right, so let's check, I know, let's check out the video because they could probably do a better job explaining it than me. It's magic. Yeah, it is magic. All right, guys, check out the video and then you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So you can, when you have the when you have the eyeball eyeball thingies on, can yes. anyone else see? That's only you. No, can just see that. you. But the way that they have it is that they so they've done demonstrations. I've seen it with my own eyes. It's a real thing. Okay. I've actually done it. So you you can, you're the only one who can see like the the images and the, like the lasers and stuff. But they have a way that they can kind of project up on a screen what you're say, seeing. Yeah. So not it, like people don't think that you're crazy. Well, then DJs could do that. That's a whole other way of doing DJs because they can like be mixing, but then also changing the sound. Exactly. So <gasps> what do you think about that? Do you think that that's like the way of the future? And I would love that because I've always wanted to go do something live either with a guitar or something like that because it makes it far more visual for people, especially like, you know, sitting there and doing the dance floor and you're, it's like you're, show, you're actually showing people what you're doing as opposed to like pressing buttons and people can't see it. They can't see the skill, but if you're actually visually giving the people what you're doing, it makes them go, oh, wow. And if they're like, you know needing something to just stare at for ages <laughs> in those particular environments, if you know what I mean. I don't uh, know what you mean. The, the colors are quite enticing. <laughs> so do you told. think that eventually, like, obviously you're classically trained um, on the piano, the, you play the guitar, synths, all that kind of stuff. Do you think that it'll ever be to the point where we're just using that kind of stuff and almost not using the actual hardware at all? Uh, I don't think so, because I would say that my skill level is based on all my classical training. So I think people still need the, the stuff to work on to get their skills. A lot of people look at videos and go, oh yeah, that looks really great. I was like, no, this is like years of training. Like, <laughs> you make it I, I know so I mean, easy, that's why. But, yeah, but I, I still think to practice and get to the skill level that you want, but something like that, I, I don't know if it will take over, to, but it definitely might be something that becomes really, really popular. Because yeah. why not? It's something cool to look it's at. It's so cool, yeah, right? No, and especially like awesome. you said, in a live environment, it kind of just brings your performance like a whole other I level. would love to try it. I would, right. I would, I'd be down to try it. They want me to try it. I'll try it. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Very cool. Well, hey, wear a whole neon outfit. I've already got the outfit planned. You're <laughs> I'm thinking Tron. You already have the outfit. Yeah. You won't That's... need it because you can project it. Exactly. With the glasses. Oh, oh, we're getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So yeah, who knows? That could be the way of the future. Right now, it's like it's you know people only the experts know how to like really do it. I tried to do it myself, and okay, I don't know how to play any instruments, so that didn't help at all. 
But it was it was tough for me because I don't know what I was doing. But I'm sure for someone like you who has the skills and everything, I would love to have a go at it. Be deep deep in the deep mind. So they actually it changes the pitch or it changes the sound. The or pitch, anything, the sound, everything. arpeggiator. You can change. Like, you can pretty much like change everything. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. think that's a great idea. Good job. All right. Good job, guys. Cool. Laura gives it two thumbs up. I do. Therefore, it's good to go. <laughs> oh, Very cool. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having us. Awesome. It's Make sure you guys fun. check out Laura online. Follow her on social media. And then uh, keep your eye out for her new album. And then hopefully you kept your eyes out for our three keywords or for our giveaway because we are giving away this awesome CD from Miss Laura. So you can just take her everywhere you go because who doesn't want to? She's adorable. And then this a podcast studio from Behringer. Now with this thing, you can like literally be like an internet sensation. You could do podcasting, voiceover, YouTube, Facebook Live, music production, home recording. What can't you do with it? So it could be yours. Behringer's hooking you guys up today. So all you have to do is leave a comment with all three keywords along with where you're watching from. And we're going to be announcing the winner next week. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Thank you again, Laura. Could we Will. do a ha handshake? Okay, change. Is it like secret handshake yeah. or like... We there didn't practice that. <laughs> that was impressive. I know. That was incredibly impressive. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching Inside Music. I'm Roxanne Avalon, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Did you just watch that whole interview all the way to the end? Um, you superstar? As a massive thank you from me to you, I am going to send the first 20 people that do this a free CD. Ah. So please, you have to go ahead and like my YouTube channel. Thank you. And secondly, you've got to write a comment underneath this video telling me which song you preferred. I do like to know what the fans like. And thirdly, email me your postal address at the address below and I'll send you your CD. It's as simple as that. So yeah. And you'll get a homemade card by yours truly. I can't think of what else could possibly be more amazing than this. Toodles! <laughs>